you know, it's like you survived on this one. The brother of the man who survived this tire shooting right through his windshield was talking only to 10 News about that freak accident. The entire family is amazed the driver is alive tonight, given what happened off Interstate 54 in Bonita this morning. Yeah, so are we. And, and they spoke just a short time ago only with 10 News reporter Astrid Solorzano. Astrid. We're here at Scritz Mercy Hospital, and I've been talking to the family all day. They're very shocked, but what they told me that when tragedy strikes, they focus on the positive to get over the shock. I get a call a little bit before 8 o'clock from my sister. A call George Castillo didn't want to believe. I was kind of shocked and, you know, it's April Fool's. Especially today. So it was like, wait a minute, yeah, is this really happening right now? And These images were hard to process. His 47-year-old brother, Salvador Castillo, had a very close encounter. Then it started becoming so surreal that it's, he's actually kind of lucky. While driving on the 54 Thursday night, the tire of a car in front of him broke off, smashing through Castillo's windshield. You can see here the glass held on by a thread. Going straight at you into the windshield, it's just, I'm just shocked. Castillo's injuries? He had a lot of glass in his, his left eye has, has suffered major trauma. Five hours in surgery, all to remove the windshield's glass from his eyes. He suffered a lot of scratches on his actual eye and his retina. Um, they're not sure about the recovery. He says doctors are unsure about his recovery, but could have been a lot worse. You know, thankful to God that, you know, it was not that bad. A miracle. They say their focus is moving forward. Um, right now it's just the recovery mode and, um, and the family too. Now the family told me that they're going to try to hold somebody accountable for the accident. And I also talked to CHP officers and they said this type of situation is definitely very rare. But if the family wants to, they can file a claim against a driver who lost the tire. Reporting live in Hillcrest, Astrid Solorzano, 10 News. Thank you, Astrid.